day two math superstars. Today we are going to go over lesson two for the week of June 1st through 5th. Today we will be subtracting three digit numbers using multiple strategies in order to solve word problems. Think back to the various strategies you've been working with recently. Hopefully you are remembering how you've been using your knowledge of place value and decomposing numbers to make friendly equations as you solve problems. Here's a problem we can solve together. Read it to yourself as I read it aloud. Sally had a collection of 258 star stickers. She decided to give 123 of these stickers to Franco for his collection. How many star stickers did Sally have left? What should we do first when solving a word problem? Right. We should visualize the problem and think about the action in the story. What did you see in your mind as I read the story? What was happening in the story? Do you think Sally will have more or less stickers than she started with after we solve this problem? Tell someone near you or write down what you are thinking. Thinking back to place value representations, how can we represent this story problem? First, we should represent the total number of stickers Sally has, which is 258. We can start by representing the hundreds with two flats. Then we can represent the tens with five rods. Finally, we can represent the ones with eight units. Since Sally is giving 123 of her stickers away to Franco, we will be subtracting. How can we model subtraction using place value notation? Well, we have already represented the total number of stickers, 258. So we can show how to take away 123 by crossing out 100. Then we can cross out two tens, which is 20. Then we can cross out three ones. When we look at our place value models now, we can see that there is 100, three tens, and five ones left. So Sally has 135 star stickers left. We could also show our solution by using equations to show how we keep one number whole and break apart the amount being subtracted into hundreds, tens, and ones. So we would start with the equation 258 minus 100 equals 158. Then we would subtract 20 from 158, which equals 138. Finally, we would subtract 138 minus 3, which equals 135. The equation shows that we started with 258 and subtracted the 123 in parts by first subtracting 100, then 20, then 3. So Sally will be left with 135 stickers. In both representations, hopefully you can see how our understanding of place value can really help us solve subtraction story problems. Here's another problem for us to solve. Gretchen had 235 smiley face stickers. She gave 158 of them away to her sister, Megan. How many star stickers does Gretchen have left? Think about what you know and what you want to find out in this problem. Tell someone near you or write down how you think we could solve this problem.
What equation can we write to solve this problem? I bet you said 235 minus 158 equals blank. That is the equation we could use to represent this problem. We are going to once again use our knowledge of place value to help us represent this problem. Since Gretchen has 235 stickers to start with, we can use two flats, three rods, and five units to represent the total number of stickers she has. We need to subtract or take away 158 stickers since she's giving them away. We can start by crossing off 100 to show that we are subtracting the 100 stickers. Then we need to subtract 50 from the 135 remaining stickers. But how can we subtract five tens if there are only three tens rods? Hmm, oh yeah, we can decompose or break apart the 100 flat into 10 10 rods. Then we will have 13 tens. Now we can cross off five tens to show that we are subtracting 50. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. So we had one hundred thirty five. We are showing that we are subtracting 50 by crossing off five tens rods. So 135 minus 50 equals 85. There are 85 left in our model. We now need to subtract the eight, but there are only five ones. How can we subtract eight ones? That's right we can break apart a tens rod into 10 ones. Then we will have 15 ones. So we will be able to show how to subtract eight ones. We can cross them off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there were 85 stickers left in our model, and we subtracted eight, which leaves 77 left. We can see in the model that there are seven tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens, and seven ones left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 235 minus 158 equals 77. So Gretchen has 77 stickers left. Now it's your turn to use what you've learned today about solving subtraction story problems with place value models to complete the subtracting groups of stickers resource. After you've had time to practice, complete your assessment on the more sticker problems resource. You will also have an opportunity to practice some more problem solving on the three digit addition and subtraction resource. Fantastic work today, second graders. I hope you have a wonderful day.